What's going on gamers? Back at it again with the third dead god progression here with Tainted Azazel. Today we're going to be taking this lad all the way to Delirium, but we have a little something extra to spice things up. On top of the vanilla run, we are also running the Scroto mod. While I understand it sounds very similar to something, I like to imagine hopefully it is not that thing. It might just be though. <laughs> Based on the thumbnail of the mod, but listen, despite that, all you need to know is that this mod is dope as hell. Respire Riding a ton of the different boss fights in the game, including Delirium themselves, giving them not only new sprites in game, but also new splash art. So I thought, hey, since we gotta go and kill Delirium with Azazel, ouchie mama, there goes my health bar, and Delirium turns into a ton of different enemies anyway, why don't we just use this as an excuse to also use the Scroto mod and see what's going on with it, you know? Rocking the T Azazel today, a very, very good character, able to apply a brimstone curse onto everyone, and then shoot brimstone, and then literally make them explode. An undeniably mega powerful character. The only thing they don't have is health and flight, but uh, you don't need it when you're just this broken. First treasure room of the day is a tears up. This is great. It'll increase our charge rate for the brimstone. I'm looking for the secret room. I'm thinking it's right over here. Um, incorrect. Maybe it's down here. There you are. And we're rewarded with some golden poopish. Just some money from that. That's okay. I think it's time to go check out our first boss. I don't really want to go to the uh, shop. I don't got the cash for that kind of play. So what are you? Pin. Does Pin look different? Pin looks a little bit different, I think. But in game, I think they look the same. Maybe I'm just crazy. No, no, no. Pin's the same, I think. I'm just gonna make Pin explode, actually. Goodbye, sir. Your life serves zero purpose. We are given Sty. I don't know if this works with Brimstone, but I like to imagine it probably does. No real health for the curse room. That's not true. I'm gonna use the full card and check it out real quick. What's gaming in here? Sack Altar. This is a long time time investment, but one that will pay out, hopefully. Let's take it and leave. Now, if I do not tuber react like you might expect, that is because this is not the first time I've actually played this. I played an entire run to Delirium with Tainted Judas, uh, but I did not hit the record button. So you know what? Just like, I, I just gotta cope about that one, I guess. <laughs> Why am I pogging? Is there a small- Oh, there's a small rock! Okay, well, this run's already going better. You'll never know what that run was all about, but I'll tell you what, it was not that incredible. There was not a lot going on. It was more just like Tainted Judas is such a powerful character, I was able to beat it easily. Which was nice, you know, a little bit of a skill solution, but if we have an easier run to deal with, that would be appreciated. There's some cash for the shop. The treasure room holds Ankh. I don't think we need an Ankh unlock for Delirium, but if it happens, it happens. Whatever. Stars card. We can take this to the next floor. We have a shop right there. I want one more scent before I enter there. And we don't really even have bombs for super secret room. Maybe I can make this uh, bomb spider blow up here. I get the very obvious super secret room. And hopefully that pays out for us. Hold on. Big plays incoming. Plus a bomb. We can get the regular one. I'm um, sensing a little bit of cooking. There's an I am air room. Some bombage. Express card? Express Empress card? <laughs> What's this bill? Range up. That's beautiful. And that's pretty good as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the shop then. We do have to go very fast. We gotta hit hush for that game. Guaranteed Delirium spawn unless we just don't want to hit Delirium, which newsflash we do. That shop absolutely has nothing for me though. Ay, 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 ay. That was a weird spike block spawn. Can I guess the secret room? I can. I'm rewarded with a couple keys and I think that's about it. I guess we can get this golden chest for fun. But after this, let's go fight the boss most definitely. Hey, that eternal heart is nice. It's basically a soul heart and I need a ton of those considering my health. This character can play very fast with their high explosive DPS, but they are very squishy because, you know, you do get to get a little close range to access that mega damage. So let's make sure that we are not exploding. And wow, I forgot just how broken Tainted this Hazel is. <laughs> not enough HP to justify the devil. Even with this marrow, I am out of here. I feel like when Tainted characters first got introduced, everyone was on the bandwagon of, wow, Tainted Judas is that guy. That man is mega satisfying. But I was always a part of the camp of, dude, have you seen the things that Tainted Azazel can do? That is unnatural power. Major dominance. Give me this keeper. Wow, a dime. That's actually stupid lucky. We'll have a way to justify another shop. I'm probably just gonna press Q, actually. It'll speed the floor along, which is what we need. We need to play fast. Uh, how about the next time I hit, like, a dead end? That way it's uh, more APM. No room to save your breath while playing the Binding of Isaac. If I'm not gaming, then what am I even doing? This is actually probably the way of the boss, so I am gonna press Q. Let me just destroy you. No pickups. Yeah, I imagine we're gonna TP. Oh! Okay, I don't know how this is gonna work, but I want it. It's it's a it's a straight it's straight downgrade. <laughs> 
Actually, I wouldn't say it's a downgrade. It's uh, just a different vibe overall, but the damage is actually really good. Did you see plus six? That's absurdly good. Vibrant Bulb, I think, will give us value later on. More than the Charged Penny is doing. I really thought we were going to TP bottom right and then continue top left to go to the boss, but I, I guess I'll just check out what's here. I imagine this is the shop. Actually, it was just a dead end. <laughs> That's kind of suck that Haim... What a weird secret room, by the way. That's kind of suck that Haim Alacria has completely overridden uh, the Brimstone stone moment but at the same time the synergies you can get from this are going to be so much more value it's going to be better overall we just need to commit i i go for the bulb i got a range up the range is really good with Hamel. maybe that's the reason we keep getting so many of them it's destiny i suppose okay shop i'd like to buy oh, everything you are selling major value plus mapping very very good playing card to a club's I, 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 I'm curious about it, but I don't know if I want to commit to it. I especially don't really have the time to commit to it. But there is this uh, super juicy mushroom room, and you already know they want you to just spend all your bombs here, so whatever, I'll fall for the bait. Oh! Hey, you know what? I'll take it. Gulp pill trap door? That's uh really good. Okay, yeah, sure. And what was down here? Mob's eye. Okay, mega value actually. Those two bombs performed better than I could have ever thought they would. Much appreciated. Goodbye, Ma, and give me this. This is probably up there on like S tier of tier effects of the entire game. I would say at least. Whoa, is that the frail? I guess that is the frail. That's like the frail, but part of the like the face is like masked off. Except that doesn't really work here because it's the champion berry. <laughs> Oh, it does look different as well, like the actual frail. Oh my god, you look sick! That is undeniably sick. Holy, and eye drops. Stupid good run as we move forward. Th yeah, this is actually way better than what I was doing last time. Way I see it, this is more of an opportunity for me to play Binding of Isaac and get more unlocks done. So I'm that much closer to Dead God. What's in this big room? I was thinking there was probably going to be a special room up top, but not the case. This is a bit of a scary place to be in, but I don't really want to push forward and like peek here. I'm not much of an entry fragger. That's just not true. I am definitely the wee ball type deal. If you put me in a CSGO match, I am entering point B first every single time on those two. There's our treasure room. I'm excited to see what's inside of you, dude. This Hamo is going nasty. Hello, Pisces. Oh man, but spun. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I actually got Pisces on the Judas run as well. Absurdly good. It also goes past the tier rate cap. So even if we hit maximum, we could go past even more. Usually tier rate cap is like five. Of course, it's going to be a lot less because of Hamo. But with Pisces, you can go to 5.50. Same deal as like a mom's perfume or something. Those types of items are always going to have value. It's always good to have a list, like a mental note uh, of what items can go past the tier rate cap. I don't really think there's like a logical sense to it. It's more just like a knowledge check. I'm sure this is the shop. Yeah, but I don't really got money anymore. More. I spent it all on that more options, which did land me the Pisces. I'm thinking this is an obvious secret room. Maybe this will give me the cash I need to justify. Oh, maybe actually. I didn't think it'd be true, but this might work. Actually, there's no way. You can't hit both of these guys. The, the bomb is too small. Uh, I guess I could try it. This is not going to work. Yeah, that's... I don't know why I thought that would work. Here, we could, we could fix it. There you go. And then it's as if I literally didn't waste a bomb. <laughs> Perfect scenario. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, let's go back to the shop then. Gotta continue to be fast. Gotta continue to skeet fast and not slow down. Champion's belt. Love that. Unless we want to miss our hush timer and then we just literally can't make it to Delirium without like a lucky break. So I don't want it to come down to that. I'd rather get the guarantee. Okay, another boss. Flooded Caves is so dope. Gertie. Gertie looks the same, I think. Yeah, Gertie's the same. Let me just destroy you. Look at the damage. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is actually way better than whatever Brim could have provided more range. I don't see a reason why not. And then Angel gives us Delirious, which is funny in a way, considering we're going to go and uh, defeat you. Wow, those stats are juicy. I wish I could take it, but not the case. Forsaken! You look sick and you're friendly, so I can actually appreciate you. Well, actually, I can't. This bony is preventing you from being afraid. There you are. Yeah, you look cool, man. What the hell? Are you gonna do your laser thing? Nah, he's, he's shy. He's, he's shy. He's just gonna spawn more bonies. Infinite bony gaming. I think the angels look different. Last time I played this as well, they got like madness combat head. <laughs> 
Madness Combat Syndrome right here, guys. Get out of here. Give me more Angel Chance. I'll take the Soul Heart. That's juicy. Uh, nothing else to do. Yeah, let's let's go. Actually, hold on. Curse Room again. I keep going back all the way for the Curse Rooms, but it's so free. I might as well. Bada bing, bada boom. It was worth it. Not really. Kinda. <laughs> all we need is one God Tier effect, and I think we just completely break. Give me a Tech. Give me a Brimstone, as ironic as that is. A Parasite would break. L literally any of these items destroy my run and it would become god i don't know if that hit and we will never find out <laughs> i wanted to push the bomb but i, I realized the uh, hemalacria moment I, I just skill issued i apologize for causing mental psychic damage to you guys just then give me the mom's wig okay for my own mental as well i, I want to check that'll hit okay never mind that was just complete skill issue <laughs> so then it must be here and in here, we have Greed, which means Greed No is in the shop. Caveman me talk, hello. So I will go to the shop now that I know he can't be there. I, I want to go fast enough that we can do boss rush. I have not done it in a while just because I, I feel like I haven't had the need to. But if we can lock it in, that would be nice. Boom. Useless. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold on, hold on. I just got to blow up the shopkeeper real quick. Okay, bye. Our first depths fight and it's Sister Viz. Wait, no, they look disgusting. I'm going to be real, but like in a good way. <laughs> they are. Oh my god, they're gro- I'm gonna get demonetized. Actually, no I'm not. I play The Binding of Isaac every single day. This game is gross as hell, but like YouTube loves me for some reason, so I'll be full. I'll be fine. Let's go down the next floor. I think the only times I've ever been demonetized are like that one time I did Bael as a character, and that's about it. And like one other time where I, I swore in the first 30 seconds, but that didn't even matter. I, I don't know. You would have thought the drinking or the smoking video would have gotten demonetized, but eh, they're, they're fine. Yeah, just show everyone that. It's cool. YouTube moment for real, for real. We got tons of keys, so I do want to check the vault. The vault has eh, stuff, but I can open all of them with just half a heart and heal it back up. We got this trinket, which is nice. We've gulped everything else. I'm looking for familiars, bro, so I can sacrifice them to the devil above. I'm hoping maybe the angel room has like a a seraphim or something and then I can put it to work. Hello! Bookworm. Progress, I guess. I'd like to run the secrets, but again, I really want to dedicate myself to this sack altar. If I can maybe get a familiar on this floor, that would be sick. Otherwise, I suppose we have to cry about it. I also know where my secret room is, so we'll be right back. We're not hitting boss rush. Not with that many rooms to do, so I, I might as well slow it down a bit. What was in here? Samson's chains? Uh, sure. Why not? Super secret room. Oh, it's my favorite one. There's always an item or just some like major goodies in this one. We got time to do this, I think. Activate Sisyphus moment, push all the stone chests and, uh, excuse me. Uh... Dude, hello, Hamalakia. Thank you. <laughs> a good amount of pickups. We mainly got uh, hearts, which is important. I don't think there's a way I can really lock in this sack altar. I might have to really give up the Book of Secrets. That sucks, but eh, what? I got mapping anyway. Book of Secrets does nothing. Let's just go instead and make sure we're not running out of time because last time I did this, it was really close and I don't want it to be that close the second time. I'm expecting the angel room and I'm expecting it to be major. Gargantuan play. Might as well take the damage here. Polaroid's useless. And oh, purity that is very good uh, we got a tears up which is important i think i prefer damage with the hemalacria i'm not gonna take purposeful damage in order to force it this angel looks sick i did not know both angels had resprites that guy looks so awesome uh, if i naturally end up getting the damage from purity i'll definitely try and lock in and not take any more damage so we don't like lose it get the triple blue fire into triple blue flyer a soul heart from that was nice and let's go we gotta get lucky with our mapping here where do we want to go? I actually have no clue. This is such a weird map. It's definitely not left. <laughs> I'm thinking right? I'm thinking right and up. I could be severely incorrect, but I'm hoping I'm not. I'm also hoping that this next angel room has some kind of familiar, because uh, otherwise this sack altar might be the most useless sack altar I've had in my life. I always feel like I have some way to use it, or it shows up at some point where I have some familiars. But today, I don't know. We're gonna have four items to choose from on the hush floor due to more options, so I'm sure something will pay out with a familiar. I'm still holding out hope here. Cool thing about the void as well is the fact that we will see so many different bosses so we can choose- oh there's Widow. You look so sick. We can choose to not fight Delirium or at least deduce where Delirium most likely is and fight them last so we can see as many bosses as we can. Who's this one? 
below. I fought you last time. You look so vile. Look at this guy. He looks so disgusting. I mean, that's what he's supposed to be, I suppose. You ever seen the Four Souls card of the blow? That thing is nasty. <laughs> nice. Another angel. Another HP. This is our time to shine. Oh, not so much. Sensor's good, though. Very, very good. I think Mom's Pearl is very broken. I will not take it though, because I prefer like the small damage up. Whatever, I'm not gonna get hit. Definitely down and to the left, no time to waste. Despite us going very fast and having mapping, the hitting hush is still not too easy. We didn't even hit boss rush. And imagine if I didn't have mapping for these utero floors. Oh, I feel like we'd be cooked, man. We're already kind of cutting it close with it. Without it, it might have been GG. So treasure map is uh, being MVP today for sure. Blank rune. I suppose I could maybe hope for like an angel and hope that this is a per throw it lives looking vile i'd rather you don't live man what the hell <laughs> not in terms of sprite i mean obviously like it, it looks gross but it looks cool is what i'm saying but you you gotta go man <laughs> It is gyrating a little bit too much. We do not get a deal. I'm gonna take back my huge growth card because that thing is broken. We can use that on the Delirium fight. Plus seven damage is going to be so good for us. Hopefully this uh, stage nine question mark, question mark, question mark floor pays off massively. Firstly, let's open all of these chests. I already am in love with what I see. Big fan of the tears up play from you. Thanks game. Maybe not as major as I was expecting it to be with Amalacria, but I still appreciate it this okay you're making me walk miles upon miles every single time a golden penny spawns okay finally holy and then in here we get akel bomb which is better than bursting sack and in the left run we get best bud and mystery egg i do not think either of these items are good but i do think that best bud falls under the category of uh familiar not the case <laughs> What the hell? The single rock I decided to Samson's chain was the one? That's actually sick. Hey, there's a familiar. Hey, if you spawn best bud by taking damage and then you sack alter, do you sacrifice? I, I don't know. I actually, you know what? I want to test. I'm just, I'm very curious. Oh my God, dude, mega brain from me. A free Sith cloak? I literally just gained HP. Did you guys know that? I might actually be like the craziest Isaac player I know. <laughs> Plus 10 damage total because pure proc our good one we can donate the rest of the money actually very quickly by the soul heart first and now i mean 30 damage Hamo. i see no way we lose dude look at this hush fight it's undeniably insane look at this boom hush holy whoa sick you can see he's attached to the ground as well just kind of laying there like crazy i realize death scythe has given us piercing which is a terrible synergy with hamalacria but i mean how could i have not taken it it's fine i'll just adjust you can see even with the flying the, the flying are, is like skin and he's attached to the ground it makes way more sense and i love it way more than oh ho, ho, it's hush it's blue baby first now hush and regular hush is also here looking wrinkly as ever i'm currently playing toho guys i would love to sit in the the correct spot for continuum but unfortunately my hamalacria has mega range i have never stood this far back before i don't know if this is a safe space it might be just because sensors that good but it's working out so i'm gonna just i'm gonna keep doing this <laughs> I need to gain more distance. Wow, I have actually way too much range. All those range ups have come back to bite me in the ass. All because I saw Death Scythe, but also like I I don't regret it. I'll take it every single time. Okay, Hush is done. We should be able to head upwards into the delirium floor. Close this one out. Hopefully we don't get hit and lose our purity because this is such major damage. Where are we going? Well, this floor is massive. Let's just try and find the bosses and then deduce where you want to go. I have never seen a worse enemy before. Giant brimstone eye is actually the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Was that Wubworm? I'm down to take a Wubworm. I feel like this Black Tooth is not doing as much as Wubworm would do. Would Wubworm do a lot for me? No, but he do be Wubbin. Wub Wub. I'm sorry, this guy's name is Pulseworm, not Wubworm. Not in my dictionary. I refuse to believe that. This guy's Wubworm. Oh, I lost my purity moment. Maybe a good stat? I got tears. Okay, I'm, I'm cool with tears. Dude, Larry Jr. looks different. He looks more flash-like. I like that. That's cool. We got a random boss here. Actually, I'm kind of down to just see what's going on. I really want to show you guys what Delirium looks like. It was so cool the first time. No, it's just Isaac. What's good, dude? No reason to change peak, by the way. So that's why this guy is not changed. I'm sure also I'll just end up like throwing different mega bosses up on screen. Showing you guys what we were not able to find on the run. Because, you know, this is dedicated to Delirium. So no biggie about that. We get our purity back. This is a boss. I'm thinking this might be him. 
the big man himself, Mr. Slimeball. Hello? No, it's Gish. What's good, dude? Gish definitely looks super cool as well. Looking more like his own character instead of just like a monstro clone. Later, gamer. And our reward is a black biggie. Yay! <laughs> Another one? Ah, oh, Triacnid. Triacnid should be changed as well. Yeah, this was on the front page. I've never seen this one. Nice. Later, dude. You're done for. I'm sorry. You stand no chance against Haemalacria. Remote detonator? You disgust me with your presence. I don't even want to look at you. Uh, this guy cannot be Delirium. Skolex. A classical look, I'll take it. Also a classical song, so this is just vanilla style. I'm with it, with the nostalgic vibes. See you later, bozo. You ain't surviving this one. Uh, oh ho ho ho, Lost Fly is so broken. Another boss, this guy also can't be Delirium. You know what? We just uh, picked the perfect scenario. And the perfect mapping. I, I don't think we can actually get Delirium first. We seem to be hitting up every single area correctly. Mr. Mega from the dudes. Uh, anything in there? Nope, I'm just gonna be right back. Hold on, I gotta fight the Frail again. I didn't get to see much of the Frail, but from what I've seen so far, and from this little tidbit right there, that, that was sick. You look awesome, man. More range. At this point, I think this is literally an incorrect play, but I took damage trying to get to it, so I'm gonna just commit. What you do if you're that little ghost? <laughs> if every single AI enemy in the Binding of Isaac is mega attracted to Lost Fly, and Lost Fly is literally circling the obstacle you're trying to pick up, what kind of terrible scenario do you have to be in for that, like, enemy? Actual midlife crisis, what do you even do? It lives, how you doing? Did I just see it lives smile for a second? That was kind of cute, actually. What is the counterplay to this range? <laughs> I, I don't think there is. Whoa, hold on, my speed's kind of low. Yeah, I think I just have to cope about it. Hey, this is great i wonder these stats that i get is it gonna be more than me just using the nail probably not i think i'll just keep the light bulb stats well i definitely found the most obvious delirium ever i am thankful for it hey we finally get an actual look at the forsaken that's sick uh do the brimstone thing yeah i didn't get to see this whoa that is awesome man i love this dude's art style loki's horns is the savior i didn't know i needed but it's here okay so all we gotta do is go in here press q and demolish this guy you guys gotta see delirium dude this is what i'm so excited for he looks so cool look at the splash screen oh my god that is sick and his normal base form is actually like the coolest version of delirium i've ever seen in my life and that's not an exaggeration it genuinely looks like what i imagined delirium to look like when he was like first discovered in afterbirth plus because remember when he first came out it was like kind of weird and glitchy it was just a face that just sat still and did nothing even when they updated it it's just kind of like a face that like gyrates but this version of delirium is so cool i'm waiting for him to do it there he is, right there. Oh, yo, get your, I need a better look. Hold on. He has like whole animations and stuff, and he's like TPing around, and his like actual animation is him glitching out. They've like played into it. It's sick. There you go. There you go. Look at him. He's glitching out. He's like all a giant slime ball. He turned into like the lamb or something for a second there. It's so cool. There's Delirium Triacnid as well. Yeah, all the Delirium forms of like the new resprite for the bosses also have new sprites. It's so cool to look at. What the hell? Oh, we can finally get some major damage in. I think I'm at the right range where Hamelactor will actually proc. It's bad to stand still against Delirium, but I just want it. I, I should have gotten hit. <laughs> Also, shoutouts to this guy for apparently doing all the sprites mainly on cell phone. What? <laughs> what kind of god do you need to be to be able to pull that one off? That's insane to me. Okay, well, I, uh, if you're wondering if Delirium Telefrag is still a thing to this day, there's your proof. <laughs> I guess skill issue for not moving enough. We are almost done. I just need, like, a few more hits. Literally, like, one more. I always like when Delirium turns into Isaac, because those light beams are kind of fun to dodge. And, oh, end is night reference, end is night reference. That should be it, right? I yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. So cool. Dude, look at this death animation. It is so insane to me. Dude, what? <laughs> so insanely high quality and there's other final bosses that did that kind of quality as well that was absurdly fun we got two unlocks done today actually making our way across for dead god 3 appreciate you guys for watching love you guys and gg